trucks. We seem to love them in America. Not everybody needs them, but if you are into the size, the power, and what they can do, and that makes you happy, well, we've got something for you. This is the Chevrolet Silverado HD, and it's had a little bit of a refresh. First, let's talk numbers. The Silverado HD gets a starting price of $43,400. That doesn't include destination. Spend any time on the configurator and you can get over six figures very quickly. Your max towing capacity is 36,000 pounds when properly configured. If you are hauling, you're looking at a 7,234 pound max cargo capacity. That is if you opt for the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8. And that is exactly what I'm rocking. Unfortunately, I do not have a mega trailer in which to tow. I'm in Los Angeles and I don't have a boat that I regularly take to the lake, but I can tell you that this engine feels hungry, hungry, hungry. The turbo diesel pulls really, really well. I feel the power coming on really strong. Now, a lot of that is how they have calibrated the 10-speed Allison transmission. I feel like it does a really good job in those low gears. You get a lot of power in the low part of the range. You're gonna get 470 horsepower here. That is up from the previous model year, which is always welcome and terrific. The thing that really surprises me the most about this engine, and actually I'm glad we're kind of at an idle here, is how quiet it is. Now, outside, that might be a little bit of a different story, but I feel like Chevy's done a great job really taking care of the damping in here, so it's not obtrusive. And actually a pretty pleasant ride in the cabin. A 6.6 .6 liter gas engine comes standard, and those power numbers remain the same as the previous model year. Still decent power and torque, but nowhere near the workhorse that that turbo diesel is. With the gas engine, max towing is increased from 24,000 pounds to 26. The ride feels comfortable, and I'm not really feeling the road. The suspension tuning is a little bit light, but the second you get load in here, that takes care of that issue. But truthfully, as chatty as it feels on bumps, this doesn't bother me as is. So visibility is actually not that bad when you're looking out of the windows, but because of your ride height and because of the length and the, the sort of stance of that hood, it is a little tricky to see kind of what's right in front of you as well as with the size, what's right behind you. But there are some really good camera views so that you can rely a little bit on this when you're doing something like, I don't know, parking in a really small space at a grocery store. It's not easy. And now with this larger 13.4 inch touchscreen that comes standard on the LT trim and above, it's very easy to see. My biggest gripe with the Silverado HD as far as driving has got to be the steering. Uh, it's not nearly as locked in as the Ford Super Duty. I feel like it's pretty vague and there's a fairly massive dead spot on center. Overall, the Silverado remains a highly capable truck that lets you do a lot of heavy lifting or uh, pulling. Of course, like all trucks, when it comes to selecting what you want, there's so much versatility. Regular cab, double cab, crew cab, or depending on what you're doing, you can get a standard or long bed. New to this refresh includes a redesigned front bumper and grille, animated headlights and available animated taillights, and new 18, 20, or 22 inch wheel options. For the first time, there is also a ZR2 trim coming. Now for everybody who knows, yes, you know what that means. More off-road capability. And for the Silverado HD, that comes in the form of 35 inch mud tires, a 1.5 inch suspension lift, those magical Chevy Multimatic dampers that make both the Silverado and Colorado ZR2 so comfortable and drivable off-road. It also gets an electronic rear locker, steel skid plates, same as my Z71 outfitted High Country does, and you can get a bison with body mods if you want something even more aggressive. If you need your toy hauler to also do some desert hauling, then this is definitely one to check out. Ooh wee, it is summer in the city. Okay, when it comes to the interior, 
I'm not sure that this actually lives up to the interior of the Ram 2500, but they've made some great improvements. This big screen being one of them, I think this is terrific. This 12 inch gauge cluster, which is highly customizable, also is a really nice feature. Now I am in the high country, which is one of the more uh, upscale and expensive trims, and you do get some really nice materials and fit and finishes. This wood is one of them, I really like this. The contrast stitching is great. This chrome feature, I think all of these really add to the refinement of the interior. And honestly, when I'm in it, it kind of makes it feel like it's not a truck. The seats feel comfortable and are highly adjustable. And even at my small five foot four inch size, I feel like I can hit a good seating position. Room in the rear feels spacious and comfortable as well. There's lots of storage in the seat and under the seat. And this one is well equipped with plenty of charging ports and rear vents. If you are opting for a lower trim level, you know you're not gonna get some of those fancy schmancy lux extras. So make sure that you go to the configurator and know exactly what you are and are not getting like this multi-flex tailgate. On this high country, we also have the premium package, which includes a head-up display, a power sunroof, and is gooseneck and fifth wheel capable. That package also includes adaptive cruise control, which for this model year, Chevy have tweaked a little bit to take into better account the weight that you're pulling or hauling. Now, I haven't had an opportunity to test that because, well, I'm not trailering anything, but those kinds of accuracies as far as stopping times is something that will really come in handy when you've got a big load back there. Other options include the 3500 HD, which you can get as a dual rear wheel setup, and that's gonna get you your 36,000 pound max towing capacity. And of course, you can opt for two or four wheel drive. The Silverado HD comes in six trims, starting with the base work truck. That's followed by the Custom and the LT. The LTZ and High Country gets you even more bells and whistles, and that ZR2 trim level should be arriving soon. If you are looking to buy a truck, click on the link above. Kelly Blue Book can help you find a fair purchase price on either this or one of your other heavy duty truck options. Those other options include the Ford Super Duty, GMC 2500 HD, and the Ram 2500. When it comes to work, these big guys don't mess around. The Chevy Silverado is no exception. Towing, hauling, and now more capable off-roading I don't know, what are they all gonna do next?